All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the arena. We are moving on to the Spino Raptor round. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start the naming process. I've gone ahead and made sure everyone is at least fed enough that there's not going to be an issue. And if there is, it's going to be with this guy and I'll just make sure that he gets some food before he goes into the arena. So we have, here's the default model. I thought the idea of combining these two dinosaurs when I first got this DLC was cool, but it's not particularly practical. I mean, y you take away a lot of the flexibility with what the raptor is designed to do in the world of J in, the, in the lore of Jurassic Park, just by having him have this weird fin. But like making an aquatic raptor, that part I could see being really cool. And I do, I do admit, I like the face. Like I like the face of this thing. It's just kind of neat. You can see the subtle differences between regular raptor and spino raptor. So with that being said, I do want to at least try to give these guys kind of cool names. Because I like them. So, since we've gone through some of our, our goofier names in the last couple of rounds, start a little bit differently. I don't think we've actually had a flame. So I'm tempted to name him that, but I'm going to see what the other skins are, because I haven't actually seen all of them uh, before. And if I have, I've it's been too long. I've forgotten. This guy actually kind of looks like he should almost be albino. Like, this looks like a pigment uh, thing. Like, he's got uh, vitiligo or something. That's kind of cool. He might he might get named Vitiligo, cause that's that's as what it looks like he's got. Um, I'm not sure how well you're gonna see it on the upload, but in addition to like the kind of pale, almost pinkish white, he's got these little blue specks. Of course, he laid down now. He's gonna make it difficult, but he's got these little blue specks here that kind of reminds me of you know being able to see, you know like more muscle definition and stuff under there. The little twitches are actually kind of cute. Um, so yeah, he, he looks like a raptor, a spino raptor with vitiligo. So let's take a look at this one. Nice and green. I do like the green. He looks very swampy. This looks like he's got the spino part in him. Um, and then I think there's only five colors. Or at least only five that I've got. This one looks more like the raptor, but could also be very marshy. And then there's you. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. So which of these is more of a flame color? Because this one's looking a little bit more like a sunrise or like a sandy dune. I think you'll be flame. Because I, I think flame is one we just... Like just plain and simple flame. We haven't done that yet. So you will be flame. <laughs> I had an inside joke pop into my head. If she's watching, I kind of want to call him Kaji, but she he is completely the wrong species. <laughs> Um, no, I think I'm going to stick with Flame for that guy because he looks more fiery than the default uh, skin. So this one. Hmm. What to call this one? I, I also do like the weird calls these guys give, too. Um... Gosh, I'm not sure because he's... I can't, I can't go too far with the Sandy because we've had some Sandy names. Let me check the list here. Our sandy names. Where are our sandy names? Yeah, there were Sandstorm and Dust Devil and Sand Serpent. Yeah, and Sandstone. So all the sand names are taken. And then there was Dune Spice. <laughs> or Dune Spicer or whatever I called him. Um, oh, dang. I suppose I could simply call him Dune. Yeah, that could work. Just Dune. Dune is fine. Doesn't seem to violate anything. I still kind of want to call this guy Vitiligo. He looks like he's got it. Um, buddy. Have you ever been to a zoo and just, you know... <laughs> buddy. It's like he's sticking his muzzle in a hole to be like, You in there? You in there? <laughs> Alright, um... Tiligo. All right. All right. So what to call you? Let's look at our swampy and marshy names because that way I'm not repeating myself. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, do we have any mossy names? He looks a little bit like moss. Um, call him the Moss Menace. Yeah, I don't think we've done that one yet. Could just call him Moss as well. I like Moss Menace. 
Although that's a lot like marshmallow, so we'll just go, we'll just go with moss. Go with moss. And then you are the last one. I need you to step away from the door. Hmm. Kind of like an earthy, almost shadow type thing. He's not black, so I don't really want to say, you know, shadow, but it's, I might go with it. Did I ever do shade? Let me double check this. Did we do shade? Sounds like someone coughing into a bucket. I mean, like, it's a neat noise, but it still sounds like someone coughing into a bucket. Uh, I don't think we did Shade. No, that's right, because we had Shadow Tracer. That's what it was. So, we'll call him Shade. He can just throw himself around. Alright, so that'll that'll do all of it. So, oh yeah, we'll go ahead and get Vitiligo just, you know, a quick bite here. And then we'll have the uh, Spino round. And uh, this is another species that I could not find a way to include into the uh, middleweight champion or the heavyweight champion because of the uh, uh, of the genes. Plus, you know, you see he kind of he kind of runs and stomps as though he's got um, you know like a serious heavy weight to him, but that's not quite the case. He's a, he's a bit smaller. All right, so that should be enough food. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, so now we can go and start getting set up. And I'll pause this while we get everyone rounded up so that we can have our free-for-all. Okay, so that was a little more of a pain than it was supposed to be, but I finally got everyone in position. I had to send two of them back to be fed because they would just stop and stare at the gate. So we're going to go ahead and let them in now. No, no, the gate. Click, click the gate. Click the gate. There we go. And that way they can get food and start to fight. But you'll see what I mean. I've got the I've got the doors open, and you know, Dune over here was smart enough to get in. But like, I had to send Vitiligo back. I had to send Flame back. Okay, I need you guys to not fight at your own gates. That's not how this works. Oh, we've already got a matchup scoring off over here too. Looks like we've got Vitiligo versus Moss as our starter. Yep, we've got some back and forth. Oh, you'll get to see some of that really awkward... Oh, it looks like they fixed... Did they fix it? Nope, they sure did not. Because the Spino Raptor, when it circles, it's... The, the circling back leg often does this really weird thing. And for a minute I thought they'd fixed it and I was going to be excited, but then I saw it do something weird. I got another fight gearing up over there. That's between Shade and Flame. Dang, Shade is just giving Flame run for his money over there. Alright. So it looks like we've got Vitiligo coming out on top of Moss this time around. Flame is returning as good as he's getting to Shade. Close these gates. Yeah, Flame took that one. And Dune over here is just like, I'm going to win this one. I'm going to do it smart. I'm going to take care of my body needs first, and then I'll fight you guys. That might have been a better way to do things, is to have, when you have an odd number like this, is to have two versions of one skin, and then just one will be the evil twin, and whichever one of those, you're socializing. Why are you socializing? You should not be socializing. You are overcrowded, good sir. It's like they kind of remember that. It's like, oh yeah, we're supposed to hate each other. <clears throat> but yeah, that's probably what I should have done for the Indo round, at the very least. for the, Not not the Indo, the Irex round. Um, because I think that's how Ivory came on top. Ivory did what, what Dune is doing over here and just kept out of it for the first couple of rounds because there was no one else to fight. Oh, that's okay. If Dune winds up winning, winning because of it, it's just an oversight on my part, lesson learned. We can always have a rematch later if we really want to. Yeah, we'll see we'll see if uh, we get any of the weird the weird leg animations that happen when two of these two of these guys circle each other. Oh, it looks like flame is 
No, nope, Dune, oh, Dune is ready to fight. Dune is picking a fight with Moss, it looks like. Let's see if we get some of that weird leg action. Because I, th I think it's this leg, if not, it's, it's... I don't remember which leg. Let's go, come on, circle. I think it was this leg. Yeah, it was that leg right there that used to do it. Oh, there we go. Nope, it was the back one because it's doing it still. It's not doing it nearly as bad though, so they definitely fixed it because, man, this back leg here used to just go completely in the body and the knee would invert and it was just... Oh, it was so strange. Yeah. Yeah, Dune is going to take it. He's going to take out Moss right now and then go for someone else. Why aren't you guys socializing over there? You're supposed to hate each other. I have genetically engineered you guys to fight. <coughs> Oof, I gotta be careful. I'm starting to lose my voice. Alright, so we have our first down. But at least, uh, at least Dune is not... Well, no, Dune is still unscathed. Oh, Vitiligo and Flame now. Well, neither one of them's given up, that's for sure. Oh, that was odd. Watch that leg. Yeah, you see that, that weird little kind of like inside thing that it does. Yeah, they fixed it. Now that I'm seeing it on flat ground, they fixed it. Boy, it sure did need it. I'm definitely glad that they fixed it. I mean, it was funny, but it was always kind of jarring. It's like, oh, this will be cool. Wait, no, it won't. It will be hilarious. <coughs> Let's see if Attilago won that one from Flame. Dune is still completely unscathed. I think Dune is probably going to be unscathed, although Shade might give him a run for his money. I do still like the weird roars that these guys have. I think Dune is considering going after Flame, but Flame is... Flame looks like he's having none of it. He's like, nah, man, I'm just here for the food. Okay, this right here, that little tiptoe thing, that kept happening at the gates. That was one of the problems I had getting these guys lined up. Are we about to have two fights? Because it looks like we're gearing up for two different fights. If anyone needs to take on Dune, it's going to be Shade. Uh... Okay. The the wounded spiner raptor does kind of look like it's pouting. I'll get you guys next time. You won't be so tough. Yep, there we go. Shade and Dune. Let's see if Shade can give Dune a, a run for his money. Well, Shade strikes first. The biggest question is, will he strike last? Oh. He already felt that one. Yeah, it was this little kind of crouching back animation that used to have the weird... The weird leg thing going on. Yeah, now Dune is not even feeling it. Dune has this in the bag, I think. There's just not quite enough that can be done to Dune. Although, Shade isn't backing down. Yeah, Shade wants to finish it. And I think Dune's got, got it on him, though. Yep. There goes Shade. Yep, and it looks like uh, Vitiligo is going to round off with Flame again. So we'll have to pick up that dead dinosaur in a bit. Alright, Flame strikes first. I think Vidiligo might be on even ground. So really it's going to be a matter of whoever survives will fight will fight Dune. Who knows it? Ah uh, yeah, Flame isn't going to make it. Vitiligo has this round. Yep. That's two. It's two down pretty quick. There we go. So now it's down to Vitiligo and Dune, who has taken minimal damage. So yeah, the ne next time around we'll have to we'll have to we might have to redo 
the um, because we're not we're not fighting them the way we were before. We might have to redo the free for all and just have a second Irex and a second Spino Raptor to even out the numbers. Of course, if I, if I if I'm able to unlock the skins, that's probably when I'll do it because that way we can tell everyone apart. It's not just oh hey, this is the clone of that other guy. Yeah, they're gonna come and finish it now. I think. Dune's like, you want to just end this? Until it goes like, maybe. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm giving it some consideration. See, that one looks like he was coughing that time. Tell me he can't just... Tell me why he can't just jump that. Like, this is not tall enough. He can jump that. Just saying. Are we gonna finish it off or no, we're gonna we're gonna run around some more and, and then think about it and then maybe kind of The nice thing about the smaller the smaller this is gonna sound weird, the smaller large dinos. I don't have to worry about my, my big ultra fences breaking. You you have a t a tyrant type class in there and no matter what you do, that fence is gonna break. You guys ready to finish it? Patiligo is not happy. Processing. <laughs> the Tilligos has come back when you're serious. It's hard, man. It's hard to be a spinal raptor. These guys do more of a drunken wobble than I thought they would. Although it's more of a pout. There we go. Dude wants to finish this. Tilgo's not going to go out with at least landing a blow. Oh, well, maybe he's going to go out without landing a blow. Yeah, because that's it right there. Alright, we have our winner. Oh, that leg pop. Did you guys see it? Man. Okay, so we have our Spino Raptor winner. We'll go ahead and let Dune calm down for a bit. Whoops, wrong button. And uh, I think I might keep him for the events that are going to be coming up in the smaller class. Because, you know, like I said, I've been thinking hard about a way to have, for us to have a lightweight championship since I can't get any of the smallest carnivores to fight each other. So I'm going to create a different series of, co of competitions for them. And then they'll essentially be fighting on a team. Um, I'll reveal details once I have everything set up. But for that, I might need, I might need a few of our champions just to kind of help, uh, just kind of help encourage things. So I will see you guys in the next video.